Hey, this is Aaron with Faith to Walk Ministries with another Bible review. Hey, there's some times where, as a Bible enthusiast, maybe you want a Bible that is not your premium Bible that you can put in a bag, take to work, and you don't have to worry about it getting scuffed, it getting hurt, it getting, well, taken. Um, or maybe you're just somebody who loves the Bible, that loves the Word of God, but just don't have the money for one of those top quality or premium Bibles. And you know something? That's okay. Uh, we've all been there a time or two. This is one of those that that fit the budget, um, but yet very well done. So Thomas Nelson, Thin Line Deluxe Reference Bible. Let you know it is the new comfort print. It is my own, so it lays flat. Thomas Nelson, King, King James Version font, Synacom reference, translation notes, words of Christ in red. Now this is a leather soft, so it's not a genuine leather. It is a leather soft Bible, which to me is better than the bonded leather. The bonded leather ones, uh, they just, they don't impress me at all. The leather soft to me is a lot better than the bonded leather. This one's in burgundy. I'll show you the back of the box. Has a little bit of information there if you want to pause and read it. Some of the features. 8.9 point, 8 point font. Kind of nice. Does have a concordance. Two satin ribbon markers. Go to page. Leather soft. And once again, it's the leather soft, but it's very nice. So let's take this out of the box. Okay. So it does have a, a decorative perimeter stitching. Like I said, it's not perimeter stitched. It just says decorative perimeter stitching. It is a paste down liner. Kind of has this nice gold surrounding pattern. This says Holy Bible. It's a, it's a very nice, a, this is a burgundy, but look at the uh, pattern they have in it. It's very nice looking. No race up, just the gilded lines, Holy Bible. King James Version, Thomas Nelson logo. Has presentation page, kind of nice page here. Authorized King James, and yes it is authorized King James. There's no notes and there's no references that cast doubt on the King James in this Bible. Does have your epistle dedicatory. Not sure what the GSM paper is, probably I'd say 32, something like that. It's not very opaque. It does have ghosting, but it's a it's a cheap Bible. Um, and what I mean by that is it retails for $24.99. A lot of times you can get it a lot cheaper. I did get it a lot cheaper. This thing has that. The print is not bad. That 8.9 comfort print is pretty nice. Comfort print is done by 2K Denmark. This is pretty well right in the box, so it's not gonna be laying as flat as it would if I had more use in it already. It does pop up right now. I just wanna let you see. So each book does have a little bit of summary. A little bit of summary. Each uh, first letter is larger, chapter. But the 8.9 is good, and the references are very nice. So you do have references. Uh, on your left is going to be on the top. Right is going to be the bottom. Um, does have, uh, like, translation notes. A little bit, uh, you know, different words for what it could be. Like in verse 6, that there'd be a firmament. You got 1, verse 6. 1, expanse. But, I mean, it's a, it's a nice little Bible. It's not too print. It's not like a Cambridge Pit Minion or something that's very small. Not sure what the font is. It does have top of the page little running summaries. Each book does start on its own page. Not a lot of uh, room to write. I would say maybe, I'm going to say maybe a half an inch, maybe. But you have space in here you can write here. On top you can write some. Bottom you can write some. Once again, at the end of every book, you have 
some blank space you can write there. This is a nice Bible that you can take around. Like I said, it does have kind of a brown head and tail bands, red ribbons. I always tuck mine in, but they hang out about there. That's nice. Show you the red letter. There you go. Pretty deep. It's a dark red letter. Like I said, there is see-through or what they call ghosting. But it's not an expensive Bible. It's not expensive Indo-Pig paper. I mean, the reason you're going to be paying a lot more money for a Bible like this, you're going to get uh, the quality is going to be better. The materials are going to be better. But something like this is still going to last you daily use. I would say you would get, oh, daily use. Speculating here. It could get probably five to ten years. It depends on how you use it. Could be more. I've had a gift award Bibles that have been given me for five dollars the last of twenty years. So it all depends on how you take care of it. It is red letter all the way through Revelation. I don't want to make this video very long. There you go. Once again, it is smite sewn, but it does have to be broken in. You see how it's popping up. So it does need to be broken in. There's videos on how to break in Bibles. Ba -ba -ba. Let's see here. There we go. That's the miracles of Jesus Christ, parables of Jesus Christ, one year reading plan, morning and evening. Has a good, good concordance. Concordance. Head word is uh, darker, three columns. Each uh, reference has its own line. And then the back. Let's have your maps. Bill. Just kind of shiny gloss. Stock maps. Colorful though. All right, well that's it. Um, once again, it's not a premium, not one of those high quality, but you know something? For the price, I picked it up. I'm like, you know, I want a Bible that just I can just throw around and not have to be as careful with it as it with my other ones, but yet I can read. It's not a large print. 8.9, but it is pretty good. Not a print like the, the Concord from Cambridge. But comfort print, it's still nice. My 2K bit Denmark. Hey, thanks for watching. God bless if you like what you watched. Um, just hit uh, subscribe, hit the like, and notification for more videos. Thank you for watching. God bless.